Hey guys. Well, I've been working on a lot of different custom screen sets, improving the popular CNC router screen set. So I thought today I'd do a video and just kind of talk about some of the features that I've added to this screen. The setup screen has changed quite a bit. I've added uh, this ATC sensor toggle button here. This will toggle the fault checks that are built into the tool change macro. So if you are not running a ATC spindle that has a clamp sensor, then you can just simply disable this here or enable it if you'd like that feature. What this does is it disables the fault checks built into the macro. I've also added this safe Z height. Uh, by default, the tool change macro would raise Z all the way up to zero, zero before it tried to move or traverse across the table. Now, for some people, this is not that big of a deal, but others have routers that are a little bit taller, and so it doesn't really need to go up so high. So I've added this DRO here so that you can set this uh, and it's now user defined. We've also added this touch off location here as well as the touch off feed rate and touch plate thickness. Now this will allow you to do a tool touch off to get the tool height after a tool change and you can simply toggle this on and off on the setup screen here. So if you set up a job and you have all eight of your tools loaded in here, you can touch off each tool, get the tool links, make sure everything is set correctly before you start a run, and then you can turn this off, and after a tool change, it will not touch off the tool. This will save you some cycle time, and it's most likely not needed after every tool change. However, if you would like to touch off after every tool change, you can simply toggle this on. It will go to the touch off location here and touch off the tool after the tool change. Now, this tool touch off is not meant to get the initial tool length. So you will have to populate your tool table with the approximate tool length. And you will need to be within a couple of millimeters of the correct tool length. Uh, this is just simply because you're going to tell Mach 3 where you want to start your touch off location as far as your Z height and this is based upon the tool length so if you don't have a tool length in there then it's obviously going to be lower than intended and it could cause some issues so you want to make sure that you definitely have approximately the correct tool length in there. Of course you can put the touch plate sense uh, thickness here. Now I've also built a screen for a touch height sensor. It works basically the same but instead of putting in a touch plate thickness you'll put in the sensor height. So let's take a look at that. So you can see the setup screen is just a little bit different. We now have this touch sensor graphic here and you would just simply touch in the touch sensor height. The macro works basically the same as it did with the touch plate. It's just you're now replacing the touch plate height with the touch sensor height. I've also added this little LED here. Some of these touch sensors have LEDs built into them. So whenever the touch sensor is made, it will toggle that LED there. A couple other changes that we've made. I now have this available in 10 position. So if you're interested in a 10 position CNC router screen, uh, I'll have those available. Again, it has the touch off toggle for the touch plate here built into this and the ATC sensor uh, where you can toggle that on and off. So this just wanted to do kind of an update video, let you know what's going on. I've been doing a lot of different custom screen work, some pretty cool stuff on some uh, pretty unique machines. So I'll try to post a video on that and let you know what's going on with that. I wanted to do a quick update on the CNC router screen. 
If you're interested in one of these CNC router screen sets, please let me know. If you want some custom screen work done, maybe add your logo or uh, maybe increase the tool positions, uh, let me know that as well. And uh, we can do some work on that. Guys, thanks for watching the videos. Hopefully I'm going to get back on my CNC rail conversion for the Precision Matthews here shortly. Now that all this screen work is done, I have a little free time. I can get back on that. Guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And most importantly, be safe.